Oh, hi. All right, gentlemen, you are on tape, so uh, please do not make too much noise. Where's this going? This is going um, on this camera, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I um, I have. Yes, or we probably put it on on maybe on the school website, or I put it on. I've got a YouTube thing. I put all the chemistry things on. Oh. So, like famous. Yeah, internet star, that's it. Yeah, fantastic. Right, we could be an internet star if we stopped talking. Now, we're going to show you the combustion of four different um, substances and a couple of tests for them. Now, this is everything which is on the sheet in front of you, or the, sorry, your, your sheet, plus a bit more, okay? So I'm just get this is called a deflagrating spoon. Okay? It's a spoon designed for burning things in particular. It's got this lid type thing here which fits exactly over the top of one of our gas jars. Okay? Now those gas jars contain pure oxygen. At the moment they've got lids on, okay? So we're going to show you the difference in combustion in air and in oxygen, okay? So this is just charcoal, really just just um no, not char no charcoal. Charcoal is wood which has been heated in the absence of air and it's turned into a black kind of um, yeah fuel, really. It's quite a good fuel, use it for barbecues and so forth. Okay, it's not easy to get lit because it's a bit like trying to light a piece of coal with a match. It's relatively so. Once it starts to burn, it's um, it burns quite well. It doesn't look like it at the moment, of course. But. Okay, and the indication that it's actually burning is. Um, Usually it starts to glow red and so forth, which we'll get going in a minute. Oh, oh, it's burning. No, it's not actually. There's some room. There's a, the reason there's a bit of a blue flame on there is a bit of sulfur hanging around from the last class that used it and didn't get rid of it properly. Hey, yeah. You just pumped the camera. Right? Sorry. You just moved the camera. George knows. Is the camera still on the. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. He's making a funny thing. Yeah. Okay, so I think my charcoal is probably burning now, okay? When I put it in here, you can see clearly the difference that the different concentration of oxygen makes. Now when the, when the charcoal burns, okay, it's carbon, it's combining with oxygen in the air, it's producing carbon dioxide, okay? Carbon dioxide. Now it will it will keep going until it's used up all the oxygen in there. So that'll burn longer than if I just put it in there with air, because there's more oxygen in there compared with air, right? So how do you get pure oxygen? We'll get it out of a tank. <laughs> ah, well they, they separate it from nitrogen in the air by cooling the air down to about minus two hundred degrees. And they have different boiling points. Yeah. Now, one of the things we're going to do for this one is this is lime water, okay? Lime water is, is to test for carbon dioxide. So I'm going to take the remaining gas in here, okay, which got my lid here. I'm just going to quickly whip that out. So I've got the lid there now. So I should have in here my carbon dioxide gas. This is a clear solution, right? Clear solution. Is that camera working all right? Beautiful. Okay, so I put some of this in. Okay, and give it a good shake, and we can see that it goes milky or cloudy. That lime water going cloudy is a positive test for the gas carbon dioxide. What's okay. lime water? Lime water is calcium hydroxide. It's got nothing to do with lime as in the flavour lime, okay, or the fruit lime, okay? It's calcium hydroxide. Okay, the second one we will do is sulphur. Guys, okay. guys, I'm a chill, guys. Hello. Now, salt, hello, 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 can you hear me? Sulfur is a yellow powder. Okay, and you saw that big, the big hunk that I had the other day. Okay, and sulfur, as some of you picked up um, previously, burns with a yellow flame. The reason I don't get all you guys to do this was that, is that it does trigger asthma, and it triggers asthma in me actually, not to mention anybody else who gets <laughs> asthma. <laughs> yeah, there's no need for the childish behaviour. Okay. <laughs> now it's beginning to burn there, it's a nice blue flame as you can see. Okay, but when I take that... <laughs> I get that. Oh! oh. 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 
Caucasian. So, Purple. several things. One, it, the, flame, the flame is blue, but the flame becomes more intense when you put it into pure oxygen. The concentration of oxygen is higher, therefore the collisions of the particles between sulfur and oxygen is more frequent, therefore it, it's more reactive. Okay? It's also giving out heat, giving out energy. This is called an exothermic process. Oh my god! We are going to oh test this one by reacting it with this orange solution here. Okay? This orange solution is called potassium dichromate, okay? And it's been acidified by adding some acid to it. And as you can see, it's an orange colour. I'll just make sure that... It smells like white iron, Willie. Yeah, it should do, because all volcanic areas smell like this. When you go to Rotorua or White Island or those places, there are two, different, two distinctly different smells. There is the strong acidic type smell of sulphur type thing which is sulphur dioxide and then there's the one that smells like rotten eggs that's hydrogen sulphide two different gases okay sulphur dioxide is more acidic and more choking but in fact hydrogen sulphide is more dangerous okay so hopefully that is stopped well, it has an air anyway now what i'm going to do here now the, the vapor of sulphur dioxide is quite um Misty. Uh, well, not so much poisonous as kind of like, as you say, triggers asthma. So what I'm going to do is put some potassium dichromate in there. Shake it up. Okay, and now we've got this green colour. Okay, so that is a positive test for sulphur dioxide gas. That if you put this orange solution in, it turns to green. Okay. Okay, so there's quite a bit of SO2 vapour remaining in there, so we'll get that out of the way, away from me anyway. Okay, the next one is, and you've already seen this, is the steel wool. Now, I'm just going to do this with tongs, okay, so I've got my, <coughs> my gas jar here. Okay, are we ready? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Came out of the, when the oxygen came out of the cylinder, we do it by displacing water, so you always get a little bit left in, which is quite fortunate because if that hot metal hit the glass, it would probably crack it. Yeah. Do um, you use that for fireworks? Uh, no, no, but use, we use uh, magnesium. Okay, we use magnesium in the form of magnesium powder. This, this is magnesium ribbon, which isn't very reactive, you might be surprised to learn. Magnesium powder. Oh, guys, close your eyes. Is much more reactive. I've got my sunglasses. And <laughs> this one will be quite bright. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, looking in real life is cool. Than looking so I'm going to light the magnesium and then put it into the gas jar of oxygen. Oh, oh it's going to be even lighter than. Don't, don't stare at it, no. I am. It's going to be. Waddell. I'm looking straight at it like so. Oh my god. We can't see it because of the um, oxygen. Oh, it's so sad, but open your eyes. It's so bright. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I look right at it. Oh. <laughs> it's like. It was like light and it was just light. It was a so, oh, when iron, when the steel wool burnt, you finish up with uh, iron three oxide, and when the magnesium burns, that white smoke is actually solid particles of magnesium oxide. You okay. said you use in fireworks. Yeah, but in a powdered form, not a. So you can, that's why you can look at fireworks. That's why you're not, you know, especially sparklers. That's what they've got a magnesium powder in the sparkler. Oh, mixed with this kind of a glue to hold it. That was cold. Uh, we could, but we've run out of oxygen. We only had four. Can you do it again without the oxygen? Can you do it again without the oxygen? No, because it's no good. Okay, back to your seats. You were so freaked out. Push the red button.